Okay, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at some, at building some, or designing I should say, some geodesic dome hubs. Uh, I've got, um, done a search on Google and this is what comes up. There is absolutely tons of different kinds of hubs. Uh, zip ties, this one uses plastic pipe and zip ties. Uh, this one I think is 3D printed. Um, there's a load of sort of homemade ways to do it. Uh, build with hubs they did a Kickstarter and they've got quite a professional one quite like this design um, I'll show you this is a common DIY one flatten you flatten the conduit and uh, produce a, um, a hub that way very simple and very cheap but it has drawbacks because of this overlapping I, I did a video about that um, so what we're trying to do here is design a better geodesic dome hub. Um, there's a number of rules really. It has to be simple, it has to be cheap, and has to be fairly easy to either mass produce or build at home. For example, this one here, no one's realistically gonna be able to build that at home because there's so many, this is laser cut parts uh, and machining, it's far too difficult. Uh, this, however, it's far too cheap and nasty. It's ugly and it's not professional enough. So what we're trying to do is get a balance between um, ease of construction, flexibility, um, cheapness to make. Again, this is a, a fairly good solid look and hope that it'll be strong, but that's going to cost a fortune to make. Uh, and you can only use it on one type of dome. If you have a different type of dome, that's it, curtains for that. Uh, this one you can only use on square square uh, or rectangular timber. So all of these um, hubs have uh, limitations. Um, some of them are very weak. Um, some of them are strong but expensive. So what we're trying to do is get a, um, a compromise between cost of production, um, flexibility, ease of use. Uh, I did like the Build With Hubs design. Uh, although I have issues with what you call it, uh, if you can imagine that circle twisting, that might twist out of shape, and I don't know how strong that is, uh, because those parts are made out of plastic. Uh, so you, you need, um, you know, a certain amount of strength. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is redesign the geodesic hub, and um, give you a window on the design process. Okay, obviously I had a design in mind, so we're just going to um, knock up a 3D render uh, in SketchUp here. Uh, this is the cross section, I always start with a cross section, and I've worked out in my head that it's actually should be possible um, and should work. I'm just going to clean this up, um, and then we'll turn this um, section of 2D drawn into a 3D model. Um, so that we can then make a dome model and test it and uh, do our fir first initial stage um, analysis of this design. Say that, does it work? Does it need adjustment? Where does it need adjustment? Things like that. So I'll write quickly, speed this up and we'll go and show you the making of the 3D model. Okay, that's our uh, two-part component. That's the that's the first part. But I'm just going to throw a few guidelines on here just for easy access and give it a cl clean up. But you can see that there's a it looks like a wing nut uh, set on a cone 
uh, and we have a top component and a bottom component. At this stage, it doesn't look obvious what it is, but I'll explain that now. Okay, this is our finished component. Now what I've done is I've added a little piece on the bottom. This he this component here is the tube. Uh, it, this could be square or pipe or solid timber. It doesn't matter what it is. This is just to represent the uh, strut. So the, the, you can see now that uh, we have a, a screw that fixes both of these co components um, on to the end of any kind of strut. And that's, that's similar to uh, build with hubs, uh, but obviously we've got a very different end piece. Now there's no hub as such. This is the whole hub. There's nothing else um, involved. This component here, I'll demonstrate for you can rotate so this one can ro rotate uh, and the bottom one can rotate uh, and that's all that consists of our hub um, now what I've done is let's zoom out I've uh, set up a geodesic framework this is a like just a paper model and we've laid up the hubs onto this paper model. I'm just going to make these hubs a little bit longer. I've made all of these components so they should all behave hopefully the same. Yeah they do. That's fine. Let's just put that out roughly. That would be a, a hub. Uh, and I'll just explain. Get, get, no, no. Get, right. get rid of that one. That's a spare one. Right here we go. This would be the hub on a truncated uh, icosahedron. This one's the tightest. Uh, as you can see the um, hubs, there is no hub as such. It's the end pieces link arms so that each hole links into the other. Uh, I'm seeing this as either made of metal or um, potentially injection molded with plastic. Um, you could scale it to any size. Uh, let me just show you uh, some of the previous versions and a little bit more about how hubs are made. These are some pre-designed sketches in uh, SketchUp. Let me just give you a quick tour. So we've got uh, some different designs and some different configurations, right? If you were building a dome, you would have a six. Um, you can see that this one's slightly different. This was a simpler version. Um, not so sure how strong this is, but you can see the same principles there. Uh, and this is this is how a six-sided uh, hub, six, six hubs together. Uh, two V three frequency. Most frequency domes have a six-way in them. But you can see that there's actually no six-way hub, as per se. It's each one of these um, double wing nuts just bolts in together. So you would have um, six bolts to hold it together, but there's no hub um, as such. Again, with this one, exactly the same. That's a five-way. So you, you, you don't have to manufacture um, a hub. That's a specific, a five-way and a six-way. As you saw previously, the, the truncated dome is a three-way. So it, it does that without having to make any parts. Now, also, you can have um, any angles as well it is quite this is the this is the new slightly newer design and that's a five way in the new design with the cone uh, so this screw here would fix down into the dowel and um, we'll call this a dowel for now but it could be a pipe or anything if you had a um, you know you could extend the bottom one to slide inside the pipe so you should be able to fit most different types of strut uh, without any kind of hub configuration you could also build um, uh, cubes, uh, pyramids, um, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, because you haven't got a set hub, it's fairly flexible. This is the three-way again. That's the three-way there. Very tight, the three-way, but uh, it should be doable. Okay, that's the basic um, design. Uh, I would uh, appreciate it if anyone has any remarks or any questions, uh, stick them in the comments below. I'm looking for um, people
people to uh, network with and maybe um, collaborate uh, and try and get this uh, produced um, over the next uh, few months. Um, so if you, if you know anyone, uh, it'd be great if you could share this video and um, try and get support for having it built. It, it should be um, fairly cheap because it's a, it's a two component, they're not big components and they're standardized components. Um, so you only need to make these two components. I'll probably make uh, some rough prototypes out of metal myself or in the next week or two uh, and see where we go from there, maybe build some experimental domes. Um, but if you're interested, subscribe and you'll definitely see more on how we progress with this project. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you in the next one.